Hello everyone, my name is Sahil, I'm your host and welcome back to the another video of Hacking Begins. So guys, this is a episode number two of the bug bounty series that we have started. So in this video, I really want to get your hands dirty on this part. I haven't actually created much PPTs on it. I just want to make it, uh, make this particular course more practical and just want to give you more heads up on this. So without any further delay, let's get started. So if I just talk about, so there are only three PPTs first of all. Okay, so this is actually the first one. This is the second one. In this tutorial, I want to basically talk about few phases because even though if you are doing the bug bounty program, you are doing the pen testing, hacking, the techniques are always the same. So if I talk again about the hacking phase, which involved in hacking is first one is reconnaissance, which we always call as like footprinting scanning gaining access maintaining access and clearing tracks so in this video we basically focus on reconnaissance footprinting how we can do it and there are two ways to do this one is basically active and one is passive so in the active we are technically interacting with our backend or any system that we are trying to attack and in passive, what we usually do here is we do not interact with the main system. We try to gather the information from other resources like Google, LinkedIn. There are many ways to find the information like who is. But in the passive, you can completely understand that I'm basically not basically asking anything about you. If I need to interact with you, I'll just call your friend and I'll gather all the information from him. So technically, I'm not uh, talking to you directly, but indirectly i am gathering all the information about you so this is actually the main technique and most of the hackers spend most of our most of their time on the reconnaissance because definitely guys because this will give you the complete in-depth detail about your victim so this is what i want you to do also when it comes to the scanning part once you have all the information about the scanning once you done with all this stuff then you will basically go for sorry go for the scanning part so in the scanning part you basically look for the port scan check if is there any vulnerability and try to exploit it just giving you overview because we have to cover these again options in the next videos as well gaining access if you can you know if you are able to find out any vulnerability you can definitely gain access after that you can maintain that access let's take an example that particular device that you are trying to hack is not connected with internet but inside the network some machines which are connected to internet are having connectivity with those how you can do this this is really very interesting topic to be discussed and the third one is clearing track that after doing your work done how you can clear your track so no one can identify you even though like mostly in the bug bounty, I uh, usually do not care about this technically, but still we have to be more focused on clearing tracks because the main thing here is like in the bug bounty, the company itself is telling you, okay, this is what you want to hack. So um, it depends upon you how far you can go with that. But in this video, we will basically talk about the reconnaissance. Let's go to the next slide. And if I talk about the reconnaissance or the footprinting, so how exactly you can find the information and what are basically the tools that you can use it. So the very main thing that you can do here is like use the footprinting through the search engine, like Google hacking database is like the very good example of this. The website footprinting, you can find the information from the website itself, like a webalizer you can use, you can, use nmap nmap is not a passive tool it's an active tool because you are interacting directly but with the nmap you can find lots of information most of the websites if you visit they always have their email addresses you can definitely do some testing on their email system as well email services are enabled or not or how robust is that who is footprinting is like very common uh, this is like the very initial step that basically hackers use to gather the information i'll also explain you this the dns footprinting about the dns part you can also like find information and the network footprinting 
that either you can do with the trace route there are many ways to find out this information but we will definitely uh, while we are like going further with this course i'll explain you all these things but that's it guys this is what i'm actually you know i just want you to highlight and make make a note of these options because this is what we are going to use in this in upcoming videos and how we can find out this is all like very important so let's take an example if i talk about okay so this is one of my Kali Linux you can see here this is what i have like ssh so talking about your target let's take an example okay so let's do one thing let's make this video more interactive okay so let me open up the firefox tool as well uh, let's go to the hacker one okay hacker one active program active sorry active program okay so it will give you the complete list of the active program that how you can basically check uh initially i also told you you have to like sign up as well so if you really want to participate in this you have to register yourself so these are the bug bounty programs that you can see here and it will give you like more details uh, okay so let's check this particular url it might give you more details so you can see here there are like multiple programs are there you can see here offer bounties managed by hacker one offer retesting active program so there are like many programs are there and you can see here based upon the report and bounty what exactly they have average given to the people so let's see let's see how many are there playstation you can see here show me is also there facebook is also there google api security report program they have also there evernote is also there so let's see let's basically talk about show me let's see what exactly they are so average bounty that they have given like 75 to 85 dollar 198 reports they have already resolved which is very good so you can see here this is what they have mentioned they have like all the information cvss score what exactly you have to what is the disclosure guidelines what is the general uh, vulnerability assessment that they are expecting and what exactly the reward they can give like 1000 2000 general business edge business so these are actually the rewards so based upon this you can definitely check what exactly uh, the target you have to choose but if i go if, if you remember i basically told you about the in scope items also so in the domain if i see here right mi.com showme.com miui.com so these are all in scope and this is also like you know offering like apks so if i talk about the apk so there is like also mobile pen testing is also involved so it depends upon your knowledge how much you know you want to spend so let's take an example initially let's go for the who is so let's take an example in the reconnaissance whatever information you are gathering about any website it is always very important and we can use it in a different ways so if i simply say who is www.mi.com i think we have to just use mi.com okay so you can see here right all the information about this company this is registered show me.inc the rainbow city office building it's in beijing this is the address this is the fax phone number dns dash admin okay so they are like smart but sometimes people you know usually hide this information as well this is what you can also like do so this is how like the initial step how exactly they can gather the more details about this okay so apart from show me there are other websites also so let's try other websites like evernote let's see what exactly they are offering so they have like 13 reports are basically resolved and what exactly is in scope so they have like given a download link from the microsoft so let's right now not talk about it in scope is also ever not.com 
so once they define a wild card right so it is like also like eligible for you can search for any subdomain so when we are talking about the subdomains the very good tool that we can definitely look for is sublister right so let's take an example sublister right so sublister www.evernot.com okay this is oh okay so i have like also created a sub list also uh, this one this information like i have like already shared uh, in my previous video so i just actually created a bash profile and bash profile is allowing me to just type sub list which is good dot com so by the way the sub list is a for passive scanning so you are not scanning the website directly so this is like also a very good tool that you can try sub list so you can see here rte dashboard m1 and let's do one thing let's remove the www and then see if we get more details or not but this is like very interesting template ws m1 and we can definitely check all these things oh my god now this is what i was talking about and you can see here there are like many subdomains are there oh my god apart from this if you really don't want to use the sublister or you do not have a kali linux handy with you then you can definitely try uh dot sh this is what uh very interesting tool for the wildcard you can use percentage sign and then you can definitely copy like evernote.com and this will also give you the similar information about the issuer certificate and you can see here lots of information to crack and definitely now you can get your hands dirty on it try for each and every information email asset account there are many many more things are there so just for the safety let's <laughs> let's not talk about all these live sites on this so let's talk about some common names like google and facebook.com because i really don't want to you know try all these things uh, on youtube you already know that like <laughs> my youtube account like uh, we are, you know started working after like 10 months due to the strike two strikes i got i really don't want another strike so let's <laughs> not talk about all these things now Apart from this guys there is actually a very good thing that I would like to share with you and this particular website is archive.org so what does this uh, website does is it basically give you the information about archived version of the websites okay let's talk about google.com <laughs> yeah i should not try all these things <laughs> okay so guys this is actually what i was talking about so if you see here uh this is a very cool website because it will give you the information starting from 1998 till 2020 this website is basically updated multiple times and if you you know check any option here it might give you the snapshot also so if you click here some websites show the information some website might not show the information but sometime what exactly happened you are visiting any website earlier it was working now it is not working you still have the link so you can definitely use this and check the archiving pages or like cached pages uh and this is what this particular website does is and this website is like really amazing and definitely i would recommend you to try this website to do so guys as you already know about google.com this is what actually the interface is so i just actually picked 2020 might be you can you know go slightly earlier and you can see all the information about this so this website is also very interesting apart from this let's talk about another website which is mi.com i would like to show you very interesting information about this website also so there is one add-on which is called Webalizer. so this is also like free of cost and i have like added a add-on on the firefox browser 
So if you talk about this particular website, right, it will give you like more details, like what exactly the jQueries they are using, the e-commerce cart functionality widgets, how exactly you are using, they're using their tag manager. If I need to talk in depth about the webalizer, this is a very interesting add-on that you can definitely use because if you could see here, I have right now opened the WordPress website and this is basically giving me information about my CMS. CMS is also like WordPress. The programming language that this website is using is PHP, blogs, WordPress, the database is MySQL. jQuery is 1.12.4, which is which I believe is like outdated. But definitely guys, you can explore more on this. And this is like one of the very interesting tool that the add-on I would say that you can definitely use. Apart from this, you can definitely check the Burp Suite Community Edition as well. This is also like very interesting and there are like very uh, best way to use this. First of all, you have to go to the proxy. If you see here in the latest version, you also have a pre-configured browser as well. So you don't have to set the proxy or, you know, foxy proxy for this. So let's take an example. If I just click on the open browser, for me, I'm not sure like, you know, it's very fast and let's allow it. You can see here, this is what I'm getting. Let's turn it off for now and let's search for google.com. So you can see here, I just actually opened the google.com and the best part here is it will not interfere with any of your browser and just give you the information that you are looking for. And now what you can start here is either you can, you know, add it into the scope or there are many things that you can do here is you can either, you know, create a live task and you can start it crawling these things. And this is like also like one of the very interesting and, you know, best tool that you can definitely try out. You can use the proxy setting, intercept the traffic, and then you can use that repeater, which we will definitely cover in our upcoming videos. If I talk about other tools, then definitely the shorten tool is like also very important. And I have like already created a video on this. You can use Multigo. This one is like also a very interesting tool. And in this tool also, I have created a different video. So I will definitely give a link. So you can definitely refer all these things. My advice here is if you are doing such kind of pen testing, I would suggest you to always create a list of all the information that you have gathered because any point of time you can use those information and you can, you know, play around with those information. I'm not sure like how many of you are already aware of this, but there is something called reverse IP lookup. If you simply search for this, uh, you can go to the second website, which is called you get signal. And let's check mi.com. So what this particular website give you information is like on this particular IP address, there are like multiple websites, either the hosted. So you can see here, there are eight domains are hosted on mi.com, which is this particular server. And then you can definitely, you know, scan and check all the information about uh, these details. And you can see here, there are eight and you can definitely try on each and every server sometime we can also like take over servers as well right just to you know give you a hint on how exactly these things work but this is what exactly the initial phase that you can definitely gather the information so guys if i talk more about the reconnaissance or footprinting technique is there are many other ways also you can find out more detailed information about the cms information about the website there is something called detect CSM, CMS, sorry, CMS. And this website can, you know, also give you like more details about it. Let's take an example. If I can search the information about this CMS. So it's still searching, still searching. And you can see here, it give me information. The similar thing that I was like, you know, collecting from the webalizer, but you can get more details and more detailed information about all these things you can see here apart from this there is something called netcraft as well uh, i'm not sure like if you have already used it or not 
but let's take an example and search the same website search about it and let's see what it basically gave results to us and this is like also very interesting this will give more information about the site ranking the domains the name server which i believe there are like many ways to do this like ip delegations many many things and this is now up to you how you can you know utilize this information take it further just to summarize this particular part is like footprinting refers to uncovering and collecting as much information about the target right that you are definitely attacking attacker use search engines to attract the information so i was like definitely talking about the google hacking database which is like exploit db and you can definitely search for all juicy information private information about this you can definitely collect dns record collect about their network topologies their trusted route firewall through the trace route i'm not going to explain all these things in detail and demonstrate this because i know that you guys are like smart enough to understand all these things and if you are definitely looking for more details then the social engineering is the main idea here is you can definitely you know search for few people on facebook linkedin twitter google plus and then try to plan your attack so guys i believe the provided information is helpful for you and it will definitely give you a startup to start your journey in the bug bounty program in the third episode of the bug bounty we'll talk more and more in depth about all these technologies and we'll take one definitely step ahead what we are right now discussing about because this is right now just the second episode so stay connected subscribe to simply sahil if you haven't subscribed yet and i do also have a vlogging channel which is simply sahil if you really want to connect with me want to know more about me so subscribe to simply sahil as well so stay connected stay safe if you really like this video then give a thumbs up